All right, so we've got our first page made. We've got our title, sorry, our heading. We've got our paragraph, got a couple of images. We've got some rollover links. We have the title of our website. So now what we need to do is actually copy this. So we want to make this page <clears throat> our template. So what we're going to do is open up a new notepad. We're going to call this one art. We're going to save it in the same folder. We're going to call this one Lego. And it's done. So we're going to go to our <clears throat> first one. We're going to highlight it all. We're going to copy it. We're going to go to the art one. We're going to light, um, save it. We're going to go to the Lego one. We're going to save it. Oops. Need to paste it first and then save it. So now what I'm going to do is go file save as. I'm now going to call that Lego HTML. And then I'm going to call this one Art HTML. Obviously, I'm going to go all files and save it. So now what we've got is we've got three different browsers and we've got three different notepads. Obviously, what we need to do, I can see that this one is the art one. So I need to change this one so it actually says art. I'd need to actually put something about art here. So um, I love painting with watercolours. Um, obviously, I'll probably put a different image here. So rather than the Van Gogh work, I'll probably put art semaphore. And that's a JPEG. And change this to art uh, semaphore painting. And then I'm going to do another one. Oop, I'm going to copy that thread. I'm going to put my last image, which is art vines. Remember, you have to have the same name as whatever it is linked in your work. I'm going to go file save, file save as. We want to go over the top of art, so make sure that you're going over the right one. Now I'm going to just test. So I'm going to open up the About Me. I'm going to click on the art page, and you can see I've got the word art, I've got the new paragraph, and I've got two new images. If I go back to About Me, it goes back to that page. Obviously, I don't have a Lego page there yet. So what I need to do is open up Lego. I need to change the title so it says Lego. I'm going to write something about Lego here. So I love Lego. I want to change my images. So obviously I don't want to have the art boots on there anymore. I can see I've got a spaceship JPEG. I'm going to change this so it says spaceship. And I'm going to go file save. I'm going to I'll save as. I'm going to go over the top of my Lego browser. I'm going to say yes. So now if I'm clicking on my first page, I can see this is about me because it says that on my heading and my paragraph. If I click on art, it now has a different heading, different paragraph, <clears throat> three different images. And if I go to Lego, you've got the two images of Lego. Um, this spaceship was the first one I had when I was about 10. So all of my links are working and that's what you will need to make in your website. So the majority of your work is actually building this code for your first page and then you can use it as a template for your second and third pages. So it's really important that you are getting it correct and that it works before you actually copy it. Now one thing I found when I was copying, if I went file save as and I just, that's, I don't know, say school if I save that what I've found is that sometimes it'll blank out this particular code so I've come back and it's gone if that happens to you if you're copying and pasting it so if I go copy paste no it's still working so sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't but if you got one of your notepads and it was blank if you open up your first page if you just go to view source, there's all your code. So you can just copy and paste that into your notepad and that'll give you a backup of what you've already created. So if you've had a problem where the notepad's gone blank, 
you can actually do that to help kind of fix it. There's obviously lots of other things within this website that you go to. You could give yourself background images. So it gives you the thread of code for that. You could have um, yeah, images instead of color. So you could have a repeated image. So there's lots of things you can do within this website that will help you to extend what you've done. What I've done is a really basic website that just links to two other pages. That's what your requirement is today. Good luck.